Here we go. Man, there's so much to see, so many uh, neat buildings. I keep telling you guys, we keep running into people, so I'm jumping in, I'm jumping out. We're with uh, Tiny, Tiny House Giant Journey. Hi. You guys might have seen her on YouTube. She's here at the Tiny House. Did you bring your Tiny House? No, my Tiny House is not here. Right. I'm just speaking at the event. Right on, right on. So yeah. she's speaking at the event. She has a YouTube channel. Make sure you check that out. We'll leave all the links to all the people that we're talking to at this uh, Jamboree down in the description box. So make sure you check them out because I know you guys are trying to get ideas on how you can live sustainably and shrink your space. And how long have you been at it? I have lived in my tiny house for three years, a little over three years. A little over three years. And then what started you to do that? I was working that nine to five job that I wasn't happy with. I was uh, stuck in the rat race, paying exorbitant amount for rent in Los Angeles. And I came across Jay Schaefer, mm. and like a lot of people do, and I came across the tiny house movement. And it, I thought, wow, this is a great way for me to be able to travel, to be able to start my career as a writer. That's what I wanted to do, and I was never able to do it. So I built a tiny house on wheels. It took me a year to build and started traveling around with it. For one year, I traveled 25,000 miles and documented my trip. And now I've been living and um, blogging about it for three years and able to sustain myself off of writing like I always wanted to do. Yeah, so we watched some of her videos. Uh, when you say you built it in a year, you built it by yourself? No, no. At the time, I was uh, dating uh, Guillaume Dutille. He was my boyfriend at the time. We built it together, right. and we did the trip together, right. and then we've since broken up. And That's so, fine. Yep. I've so, but it was like it. a couple's thing you it guys was. built it. Had yeah. you ever built anything before? No, I had. I had no experience. Right. Um, so. What does that sound like, guys? That's just like us. We had no experience. Same kind of story. We got sick of the rat race, sick of the grind, and we took our lives basically in our own hands. Stepped outside the box. No pun intended. <laughs> and uh, we made this happen, and now we're living the life we like to live and we want to live, and it's an intentional living, right? I find that a lot of people in the tiny house movement have similar same stories. Same story. Yeah. Like homesteaders, off graders, we we're all kind of have that same vibe. So uh, your writing thing, how's that going for you? It's going great. I mean, it's it's fantastic to be able to work for myself mm -hmm. and to be able to write about things that I'm passionate about, like tiny houses, like travel, and to help other people. I have so many people coming up to me here at this event, and people who reach out to me on my blog and say that I've inspired them. And that is something that is priceless to me. Isn't that the best part of everything we do on social media is that yeah. we meet these people right. and they're like, you've changed my life and look at what I've done this and I've done this because of your recommendations. It's fantastic. High five on that. Yeah. Changing <laughs> lives one video at a time. So what's your latest book you wrote? Well, I'm not writing books. It's mostly just blogs. So, oh, right, right. Yeah, I'm doing articles on tinyhousegiantjourney.com. Right. Um, and so I write about minimalism. I write about living in a tiny house. My experience living in a tiny house as a, as a woman right. and uh, traveling as well. So are you still like on the road with the tiny house thing or have you kind of settled down and you're just kind of jump on planes <laughs> yeah. to do these kind of gigs? I, I've settled down now, I suppose, if right. you call it that. I'm no longer, the wheels are no longer turning, right. but now I'm, I'm doing more backpacking abroad. So one of my goals in life is to visit every country before I die. Wow. And so I try to go to five different countries at least a year. Wow. So I'm doing a lot of backpacking and the reason why I'm allowed to do that or I'm able to do that financially is because of the tiny house. It's right. because I have so uh, such little expenses that I'm able right. to afford to travel abroad. Live intentionally. If you live like nobody else, you can live like nobody else. Get rid of those bills, guys. We're gonna keep walking around the tiny house. Make sure you check out her channel, show her some love, tell her you're a homestead homie, glow her little feet up so she's like, whoa, who are these people? And we'll see you guys, uh, just we're gonna keep walking around. Let's go.
guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead Homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow.